So on this side, here's my ingredients ready for the snook biryani in the oven. I've got three onions, sliced peppers, sliced some fresh, fresh coriander, lots of garlic, about eight cloves chopped up, uh, about a tablespoon of gar uh, ginger grated. I've got some potatoes that are fried and you can add as much or as little as you like. I've got a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I've got a tea two teaspoons of paprika and uh, four tablespoons of my masala. I've got turmeric, a teaspoon and a half, some salt. And then here I've got star anise, some peppercorns, four cardamom pods, two small bay leaves, three chilies, a stick cinnamon, did I miss anything? And an all spice. That's my mixture for today. And on this side, let me show you what's happening here. Whoopee. Go pick a messy alphas. Then the rice has cooked as well. This is the basmati rice. I use speckle. And I cook the lentils with it. And it will steam further and it will have it won't. It won't be hard, trust me on that. <laughs> I've cooked it for about 12 minutes, the rice. And um, with two teaspoons of salt, this is three cups of rice. And I've strained it in cold water, rinsed it. And here it is ready for use. The next step I'm going to do, I'm going to fry my fish in my masala. You can use biryani masala, fish masala, whatever masala you like. You can dust it with flour as well. I've got some kate as well. And I've got the kop. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the kop. I may just do me a, for me a little bit of soup with a kop. And I'll add the kate with the snook biryani. That I'm going to do. And when I come back, you'll see everything is done. And it's just about making the, the, the gravy, the sauce, the curry sauce. And then we're going to assemble it and then put it in the oven. Okay, I've put some turmeric, about half a teaspoon of turmeric, and I spread it over. A tablespoon of my masala and salt. And I'm just going to mix it through with the spice. And you can add pepper as well, black pepper, and I'm going to fry it. Né? And only fry one minute on each side because it's going to cook further in the oven. Okay? Okay, guys, here's my fish. I fried it, finished. And remember I told you, don't fry it long. Less than a minute on each side. It's going to steam further with the rice in the oven. Okay, so I took the oil that I fried the fish in. I didn't throw it away. This is the oil. I'm going to fry my onions and make my, my gravy. Okay? Okay, guys, so let's begin. So I'm going to add my whole spices. Bay leaf. Chilies, starnies, cinnamon sticks, some peppercorns, allspice, and cardamom pods. Cumin seeds. I would add curry leaves as well, but I don't have. So add curry leaves. Okay. I'm going to add my onions. Basically everything all at once. Teaspoon of salt. Some garlic and ginger. Okay, now I'm going to fry this for about five minutes. And then I'm going to add the spices.
So, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so the onions has cooked down nicely. With some nice brown edges. Smells amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to add a teaspoon of turmeric. Oh, how wonderful. And a little dhania for now. I like throwing some fresh dhania in my mix. Okay. Scorchy water. Break that loose, that peachy stay, that's the flavor. Okay, this is just going to simmer now for about five minutes and then I'm going to layer the dish. Okay guys, so I'm just taking some butter. Just putting it at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to layer it. Which you can add to Okay, Louis came to visit, so we're just handling him. So now you pack your fish haphazardly everywhere. You can alternate your layers the way you see fit. Okay. Then for my sauce, we're going to put it down. Wait, miss. See, Louis, man, Shelly, I distract me. He makes me do maca, some potato. And now we're going to pack some of the rice again. I'll finish the layers and we'll be right back. I'm also going to add the sauce from the fish when I baked it. It's over as well. It's all the flavor. Pack the potatoes again. Sunny boy. This dish is my mommy, my late mother, Auntie Wasila. Made this. Hi, Sunny boy. And she, I've lost my train of thought. This is a recipe that was passed on from my mother. It's very, very special to me. This is exactly how she made it. layers and I'm going to cover it with foil spread things out a bit Just the rice as well. Here we go. One second, guys. Okay, now I'm going to add a little water. Just about half a cup. Cut 
covered with foil and into a 180 oven for 15 to 20 minutes okay okay if you check your you take it out and you check it and you see your rice is still a bit wet you just let it steam a bit further in the oven eh? until it's to your desired um, dryness or wetness that's entirely up to you okay guys we've done just show you I'll open the corner and I'll just check here I so may have a taste as well absolutely delicious oh look at that yummy in my tummy wow anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video Mm -mm -mm. look at that rice yummy hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be back again with another video soon look at that guys the rice is lekker uitgedroog not but uitgedroog if you know what i mean look at that mm -mm -mm. yummy in my tummy Yo, look at that perfect Okay, bye everyone. Love you guys. Lekker oven layered. <laughs> oven snook biryani. Bye. Love you guys. Okay guys, here's the biryani. Nice. Done. Look at that. Just taking photos quickly. Snook biryani. Made in the oven.